Now that you've taken folks through understanding human behavior, it's time to pull it all together for folks, making it a real-world application. I often tell folks that the information is enjoyable, it's fun, we can really enjoy seeing how we interact with others, what the various styles are, but this is way more than just a high-tech horoscope. When you begin taking world-class performers, you apply the, the DISC methodology, the understanding human behavior, now you can start to show some real advantages and real value to this information. As I have always said, make sure that you know DISC. Make sure you spend some time with the facilitator's manual, with the talking points, so you're confident and comfortable. Just like the other programs, you'll have a complete slideshow with this, the facilitator's notes, the workbook pages. Make sure you have spent some time and understand what DISC is and what DISC is not. As you leverage folks into this part of the program, you can begin to link it back to the original discussion that we asked when we did the understanding human behavior about how they communicate. Now that they've seen their profile, it is highly likely that they wrote down things that completely link to their profiles. You can take folks through what are their strengths, what are their limitations, how they can be more effective, for all of the styles. It's in your workbook. You can take the D's through what they need to work through, the I's through what they should be looking at, talking with the S's about how they can become more effective, what some of their limitations and what some of their strengths are. And then for the high C's, you can do the same thing. And the key here is it becomes their own personal plan. All world-class performers create an actionable plan and within all of the handouts and everything that you have people can begin taking this information and applying it directly to their individual needs. The DISC and relationship portion of this I want to point out has two real benefits. One is for you as an individual understanding your own style and how you can learn and adapt as you begin your consulting practice using this for both sales and delivery of your client solutions you then can have folks within your client base understand how they can use this information to bridge the gap and communicate with the other styles more effectively one of the biggest values that we bring in leveraging understanding human behavior is having folks understand how they naturally respond and how to respond to others and to position their questions. We've talked about this in our initial sales training taking a consultants approach you can go back to that video and see how we presented this then. One of the keys in making this whole thing real is having folks understand if they're communicating with a D they need to focus on what questions they need to minimize the details and focus on using what questions and making what statements what are your goals what are you looking to accomplish with this this is what we have done in the past it's very critical to use the word what when we're communicating with a high D because that allows the person to respond in the bottom line to get right to the point which is how high D's think and communicate when you are interacting with a high I it's very important to focus on inclusive pronouns we us as well as asking who questions who has worked on this in the past who else have you seen do this effectively we are able to do this. How are we going to help? Focusing on inclusive pronouns and the word who allows high eyes to think about the team and the overall group and respond in that manner. When we are communicating with high S's, it's very important to know the details, understand the details, make the high S feel safe, and to phrase our questions using the word how. How have you done this in the past? This is how we need to do it. 
All of these questions sound similar, but they are not. The word how allows a high S to think through the process and answer the process of how, the A, B, C, D, E, and F of that implementation. And finally, when we are responding to a high C, it's very, very important that we honor the details, we do not use useless approximations, and we focus on using why questions and why statements. Why have you done it this way in the past? This is why we are recommending what we're recommending. This is why what we are doing is going to work. Why have you chosen that as? It's important to focus on the why because like the word how allows the respondent to talk through the process, the word why allows the individual to offer their analysis. We will often tell folks if they get nothing out of this whole program except the positioning of those four phrases as they are communicating with others, this will have been worth everything. You can link this back quite easily with the very beginning of understanding human behavior of how they communicate and I am certain they will have already written down what their communication style is and their preference. There are many other exercises that you can use with this. Let us know if you have a program. Let us know if you're implementing this. We'll be able to give you several other exercises and things that you can do both to drive home additional conversation with the group and a couple of things that lighten up the conversation and drive the application of DISC while having fun within the group. Call us 866-765-2121. Take some time with the manual. Get to learn everything that you can about DISC and you will have ongoing clients for a long time.